Hey guys, I'm Shay and welcome to my bedroom. So pay no attention to the fact that I am wearing the same shirt and my hair is the same way as in my last video. We're going to pretend that I'm not filming a bunch of videos all in the same day. So just go with it. So today I'm actually doing a video somewhat on time. I'm going to be doing my April book haul. Um, I know I didn't do a mid-April book haul and that is because I actually didn't get near as many books as I normally do and I'm sorry because I know that those are like the most popular are my giant book hauls but hopefully you guys will like this one too. So for this last month I actually got 16 books and I know that does seem like a lot but it's really n not if you... I'll just... I'll you'll know what I mean in a second. So the first thing that I got was actually the complete box set of the Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis and so I mean this is seven books right here so this is like almost half of my book haul so see I'm I'm a disappointment this month. Anyway so yes I've actually never read all of the books. I've only read Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and I've seen both the cartoon and the newer-ish movie that's not really that new. It's pretty old, kind of. But anyway, so I wanted to get the entire series because I wanted to be able to read the entire series because I know a lot of people have and I really like C.S. Lewis and so I just thought it'd be a good thing to pick up and add to my collection. And I'll have to figure out how to read these because I know it's like, there's like chronological order but then there's also the order in which they were published. So I don't, I guess, I don't, I guess, yeah. I'll figure it out. Next you probably saw me unbox this in my Document Your Life video for April. That is The Silence of Six by E.C. Myers. This book looked so interesting to me and I know it's it came out a while ago and I know a lot of people have probably already read it but just the idea behind it, it's so mysterious and dark and like really creepy. I hear that like it's, it's like the plot is, is written in such a way that it's almost like this could actually happen in real life and it's kind of scary. But I am really excited to read this one. I tried reading it last month but as you know from my last video I was kind of preoccupied feeling like crap. So anyway, but I will start on this one soonish. I want to maybe read it either this month or next month. Um, so yeah, awesome book right here. I think. I don't know. I haven't read it yet. Up next, I have The Unbound, which is the second book in the archived series trilogy. I don't know what it's going to be. It's by Victoria Schwab, and I love the first one, and I love her writing. It's really, really good, um, and it's really easy and flows really, really well. Um, and so this is just a continuation of the story about Mackenzie, who is a keeper. Um, for the archives, which is a place, almost like a library, where they store human memories, but they're like in physical copies of the person and it has all their memories um, from their life and everything like that. So this is a just the second book in that whatever series trilogy thing. Um, and I'm really excited to hear more about uh, Mackenzie and Wesley because that seems like it could be a really great thing. Um, and just more about the secrets maybe that the archives are holding and maybe possibly there was some corruption and maybe some awesome kick butt action and yeah so I'm going to read this one very soon. Also I am so in love with these covers. They're so soft and velvety and just it's like like I could sleep on these at night and be comfortable and have a great night's sleep because they're so soft. Next up are two books that I'm really excited about. They are the first two books in the series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. Um, I read these books when I was younger and they are so good and I just wanted to own the whole series. And I really actually, there's this box set on Amazon that's really cool looking and I really want it, but at the same time I'm, I'm impatient and I don't want to try and save for it. So I think I'm just going to buy the books as I can and that way I love the whole series. I actually never finished it. I never finished the series. I think I have one book left to read, but it's going to be one of those things where I have to read the whole series again because I can't, I mean, it's been so long that I'm not going to be able to remember what happened. So, but yeah, when I get the whole series, I'm going to read through all of these and I feel like it won't take very long at all, but 
but yeah so I'm really excited that I got the first two and I can start my collection. After those two is another one that I'm really excited about. I told you guys about it last month. Um, it is the Project for Awesome exclusive edition of The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. And look at this! It is a shiny green cover and it's so cool! This is the third edition of this book now that I have and I am so excited that I own this because it's green! It's not blue, which I like blue, but I mean, it's freaking green! That is so cool! And it's so shiny! And it says Project for Awesome exclusive on it, and I don't actually know if there's anything different inside. I don't I don't think so. I think the inside's pretty much just the same as, as the other ones. So yeah, I'm excited about this one, just like I'm excited for all of them. But mostly, I'm excited just to have this on my shelf, because I've already read it. I've seen the movie. I'm sure I'll read it again someday, but it's not like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna read this right now. But it's just fun to look at, because again, it's green and it's shiny. So the next book that I have for this haul is More Than This by Patrick Ness. I don't actually know anything about this book. I have absolutely no idea what it's about. All I know is that a lot of people have it, and every time someone like sees it, they're like, oh, that's such a great book. And so, you know, I figured maybe I'd get it. I seriously, I've never read any reviews for it. I've never watched any reviews for it. I haven't even read the back of it, and I kind of don't want to because I think I just want this one to be a total surprise for when I read it. And also it's awesome because freaking yellow, yellow is a, a color you don't see very often, and this. <sighs> hey. And it's yellow on the inside, and so that's just really cool. So, I mean, it looks like it could be like a sad-ish All the Fields book, which I want. Um, so yeah, there you go. More than this by Patrick Ness. So the next one that I have is The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings, and I got this one because Sasha really liked it, um, Sasha from A Book Utopia, um, and this one just looks really cool. Um, I guess like the idea behind this is that the murder rate is higher than the birth rate or something. I don't, again, this is another book that I really don't know much about, and I don't want to. I want to go into it being surprised. So I think I think that's kind of going to be my mindset for from now on for books is that I don't, I mean, I, I want to buy a book because other people like it so that makes me want to read it and form my own opinion on it. I just, I like the idea of being surprised by a book and not knowing everything about it before you go in. Because like sometimes the, like the inside dust jacket cover will have like some pretty big spoilers or I don't know. So I'm just going to go with that. So next I got the second book in the Wolves of Mercy Falls, um, and that is Linger by Maggie Steve Otter. And I haven't read the first one, um, but I, I want to own complete completed series, so I figured I would pick this one up. Um, it is about werewolves, which is really cool, and you know, I like werewolves. Um, and the cover this is another one with a really cool, pretty cover. Um, so, so yeah, it's the second book in a series. And so you can't really tell people what it's about without giving away the first one, so... So read it yourself. And don't tell me what it's about because I haven't read it. So the final book in this book haul is one that I'm actually really excited about. Not that I haven't already been excited about all the other books that I got. But this one is Vicious by V.E. Schwab, aka Victoria Schwab, aka the author of the freaking awesome archived books. And this one is more of like a new adult book. It's about college age kids and I guess it is about two college roommates who become, one becomes like a superhero, one becomes like a supervillain or something like that. But the idea, they, they become arch, arch nemesis. Yeah. But the idea is that I guess you don't really know who's the good guy and who's the bad guy. So that's kind of cool. Like I like that idea and it makes, like I'm really curious about how, how the author is going to be able to like portray that and keep it ambiguous. So. So yeah, this is going to be another one that I read pretty soon, hopefully within the next couple months, so... Alright, so that is all of the books that I bought in April. Again, I'm sorry if it is disappointing to you that I didn't do a mid-book haul, and that I don't have so many that I dropped them all on the floor like the first time, but like I said, I was sick, so... And we were moving, so I didn't really have time to buy books, but I think I did a pretty good job. There you go. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you have a great night, and I will see you next time. Bye! Books. I've only read the Chronicles of Narnia. 
Next up, you probably saw me unwrapping this in my... Also, another... I can't breathe. <sighs> I need to breathe. 